The leader of Canada is trying to contain the fallout from a controversial photo that made headlines across the globe. Now, many are comparing his recent controversy to that of a liberal lawmaker here in the U.S. On America's Bobby Dupree explains. The Prime Minister of Canada continues on what some are calling his apology tour after a controversial picture came to light. Thursday, Justin Trudeau again pleading to the Canadian people for forgiveness. What I did uh, hurt them, uh, hurt people uh, who shouldn't have to face intolerance and discrimination because of their identity. This is something uh, that uh, I deeply, deeply regret. Just the day before, Trudeau explained more behind this photo. In it, he's seen covered in brown face makeup while wearing both a turban and robe. He says the picture was taken at an Arabian Nights themed party back in 2001 and was published in the yearbook for a school he previously worked for. The Prime Minister also claims to be dressed as a character from Disney's Aladdin. Trudeau says he didn't realize it was racist at the time, but admits it is, and he, quote, shouldn't have done it. Lawmakers in Canada quickly reacted to his apology. How do you, how do you look someone in the eye that's, that's mocked the lived reality that I've lived, but more importantly, that so many Canadians have lived? To me, um, I think Canadians are going to have a lot of questions about his sincerity, a lot of questions about who is the real Mr. Trudeau. Known for his progressive policies, Trudeau's latest scandal is being compared to that of Virginia's Democrat governor, Ralph Northam. Earlier this year, a controversial photo went viral from his medical school yearbook. It showed one man in blackface, the other in a KKK robe. Northam first admitted to being in the photo and issued an apology. Less than 24 hours later, he denied either person depicted was him. Is it fitting he's still in office? Of course it is, because the left is hypocritical. Uh, we have to make a splash where we can to point out uh, the obvious inconsistencies in what the left claims is their, their issues that they champion. And, and they say it's black America. Clearly it's not. Ralph Northam is still in office. Like Northam, Trudeau faces intense pressure to resign. Despite the outcry, the prime minister has vowed to continue his re-election campaign. Take very seriously this responsibility and this choice uh, that we will make as a country on October 21st uh, and until then I will continue to put forward the very best team, the very best approach. Since the scandal broke, many have already thrown their support behind Trudeau's liberal rival in the upcoming election and lawmakers like Canadian Conservative Party leader Andrew Scheer have ridiculed the Prime Minister saying he's unfit to lead. Justin Trudeau has embarrassed Canada on the world stage in the past uh, and that this incident no doubt uh, is, certainly does not help uh, his, his own situation or that of our country. Uh, one more reason why I don't believe he's fit to govern this country. Back in 2015, Trudeau's party won by a landslide. According to polls, he's locked in a tight race ahead of the country's federal election. Bobby Dupree, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.